Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to install a Twitter website tag. Uh, Twitter website tags are used for remarketing with Twitter ads. It's very similar to a Facebook retargeting pixel or a Google AdWords uh, retargeting pixel that you may have heard of or installed before. This allows you to use Twitter ads and specifically target people who have visited your website in the past or taken specific actions on your website in the past. So it adds some more audiences and some more targeting options for you when you use Twitter ads. So let me show you how to do that. First thing you do is log into your Twitter account. We're going to come up here to the top right hand corner and click on our profile icon and go to Twitter ads. This brings you to the ads dashboard. We want to navigate up to tools and go to conversion tracking. Over here on the right you'll see a box that says how to start. We need to agree to their policy before we can then click this generate website tag for conversion tracking button. Next you'll see this page and this is the page that actually contains your website tag code. Twitter recommends that you install this just before the closing body tag in the HTML. And here's your code. So all you're going to do is select all of this and go ahead and copy it. Now before I show you, there's a couple of different ways you can install this, but I do want to make sure that you read this down here. Take a look at Twitter's uh, policy and make sure that you update your privacy policy on your website. It is required by law for you to let your website visitors know that you're tracking them and what you might be doing with this data. So please take a second to read that and make sure you update your privacy policy. So we're going to copy all of this code and then I'm going to pull up a text editor that has the code for my website. If you're using WordPress, you can look for the footer.php file that's in your th active theme. And down here you should see the closing body tag, which is right here. And all I'm going to do is paste that Twitter website tag just above the closing body tag. Keep in mind when adding this to your theme, if you should ever change themes in the future, you will need to remember to copy this code and place it in your new theme in order for this website tag to continue to work. There's also a great WordPress plugin called Insert Headers and Footers, which allows you to add different tags to your footer of your WordPress site. That way when you switch themes, you don't need to worry about copying this code and making sure that it gets transferred over to your new theme. Everything will be in that plugin. So as long as you have that plugin installed and activated, you'll be good to go. If you've added this to your footer.php file, just make sure that you save this file and then use an FTP program to upload this file to your website server. If you already use Google Tag Manager, you can also install your Twitter website tag that way. Setting up Google Tag Manager is beyond the scope of this tutorial, so I'm assuming that you already have Tag Manager installed on your website. This is how we can add the Twitter website tag using Tag Manager. When you first log into your account, go ahead and click on the container that you want to add the tag to. We're going to click Add a New Tag. And for the Twitter tag, we want to give it a name. This is a universal website tag, so I will call it Twitter Universal Website Tag and we're going to use the custom HTML tag. And we're going to take that same website tag that we copied from this screen and we are going to paste it here in this HTML block. And it's really as simple as that. There are a bunch of advanced settings but we don't really need to worry about any of those. We can just paste this code in as is and click continue. The final option here, it asks where do we want to fire this tag. Since this is a universal website tag, we want this to fire on every single page on our website. And this is going to create an audience that is for all of our website visitors. There is a way for us to create additional Twitter website tags for certain events that happen on our site. But for this one, for the universal tag, we just want it to fire on all pages. So go ahead and click all pages and click create tag. As with anything in Google Tag Manager, you can always come up here and give it a preview and go to your website and make sure that everything is tracking properly. But when you're all done, just go ahead and click Publish. After you've installed your Twitter website tag, you can go back to the conversion tracking page in the Twitter Ads dashboard and check on the status of your tag. So right initially when you install it, you'll see that it's unverified. This just means that it needs a little bit of time to collect some data but as soon as you get some visitors to your site, 
then that status will change from unverified to tracking. And you'll see that down here in the bottom right hand side. That's how you know that you are all set and ready to go with your website tag. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.